All right. So today we're going to look at Trey Flowers. Uh, it's a guy I've been hearing quite a bit about, so I wanted to dive into the film a little bit, take a look. Uh, Trey Flowers from the Seattle Seahawks, uh, one of the big long corners that uh, uh, that everybody in the NFL is always looking for, uh, and that Seattle seems to have a knack for finding. Uh, so we're going to start off here. This is their game uh, against the. Carolina Panthers, uh, we're going to take a look right now. He's going to be down at the bottom of the screen in the first play here. All right, so his receiver goes away, all right? His receiver motions away. He gets a little bit tighter, all right? Uh, he's over the top of that tight end. Now the ball goes out into the flat. Uh, and, you know he's he's patient with. It. He's not overly aggressive. Uh, takes a takes a good angle and comes in there. You know gets on the tackle uh, after McCaffrey looks like you know he's starting to break free of that first one. Uh, gets on that tackle, pushes him out of bounds. So that's a, a pretty impressive job there uh, on that break. See from this angle. All right, ankle tag is broken. He gets in, the ball actually goes flying out too. All right, once again at the bottom, uh, see how it plays right and left. So, okay, so uh, you know, obviously, we're, we're getting right here is a run play right away. He is, uh, you know, he's pressing, so we can still kind of look at his, his technique. He's going to press bail, all right, turns, engages with that blocker, not just running around him, looking to hold that edge. We're going to go later in the first quarter now. Down to the bottom. So this drives me crazy, especially with these big, long uh, corners. Why don't you use your hands? Uh, you are allowed to, to use your hands for the first five yards. Certainly when you're lining up on the line of scrimmage, basically like this, you can use them initially. Uh, you know, you see he, he brings his inside hand around to, uh, you know, to, to kind of help his hips get around, gets on the shoulder there. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't get why he's not really going to use his, his arms, use his length. Uh, to get a shock and throw off that receiver's route and that receiver's timing a little bit, um, and this is something uh, it's a it's a problem in the NFL in general. Uh, you know, I don't know why uh, a lot of guys aren't doing it. It's something they really really should be doing. Um, you know, especially when you've got that uh, you know that physical you know those physical aspects going for you, uh, but we're not really seeing it. So uh, very good with the hips, though. You know, I like how he comes around. And then he kind of outruns it, all right? So he's he's good with his hips. Now he's got to get his eyes on the receiver's hips, you know, and, and really just be about a half a step behind him so he can see his hips uh, and so he doesn't get burned on a comeback like that. Once again at the bottom. All right, so he opens up right away, and then I love the way he, he matches up on it. You know, you can see he's a guy, he's, he, he can run with you, he can match up on you. He's real smooth, and he breaks down that space. Uh, you know, I, 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 I like that, too. He's not giving him a lot, of, uh, a lot of room in there to be able to potentially make a play on the ball. Obviously, he's got help inside from his safety. All right, but boom, he cuts down that space real quick. He's right on that guy. You know, we go back. Uh, and I'll, I'll slow it down here a little bit, but we can see on the release, you know, it's going to be a good solid inside release. He's bailing out. He opens up, you know, there's a, a good amount of space there. Uh, but look, you know, within a matter of eh, six, seven yards, he cuts that down and he's right there on that receiver. Uh, so de definitely like what I'm seeing on him, out of him on that one. We're going to go into the second quarter now.
All right, so now the second quarter, he's going to be in the top. Going to really switch their corner, so he's basically always playing on the right. All right, so this is an interesting one. He's got a tight, uh, a tight alignment there. Uh, he actually comes in and shows he can be pretty physical. So tight alignment. He is right in here. Ball's running inside, holds the edge, boom, comes in there and makes a tackle. Uh, so good to see uh, corners that can you know, be versatile, uh, be physical, especially when they end up getting into those alignments. Uh, that's something that teams can do to can't, you know, waste some of your best players by, by forcing the corner in there, uh, but also possibly expose them when they can get a body on them uh, or if they don't even think they need to block them like, uh, you know, they, they, he didn't really get blocked on that one. Uh, so uh, being able to make plays in that situation, definitely uh, going to be good for him. Up top again. We'll take a look. All right. So, I mean, again, that's something that's tough about this build technique. Now you're getting way out in front of it. All right. And that sets up the comeback. So, uh, the, you know, the, really the comeback's not on him. You see this linebacker's going to be working out. He should be underneath that. Uh, you know, you like to see the hips around so he can play on it. But, again, that's not the technique that they're doing here. Uh, and really, you know, where he's at, he's got to be more concerned uh, that, you know, the complement to that route, you know, this is really a deep hook. You know, and we could potentially get some kind of post or anything else behind that. Uh, really, right now, this guy's basically in, in, in his zone here. So, uh, you know, he needs to be aware of that, too. Uh, and really give himself a little bit more room within that zone uh, to be able to make out a uh, play on that ball as well. Up top. I love this play because it shows really good awareness and it shows really good effort. Um, you know, his guy goes for the reverse right away. Uh, you know, he sits, he chills. Uh, he doesn't uh, doesn't flip out and, and chase it immediately. You know, he kind of waits for it to declare. Uh, and that's important because, you know, they, they can get the throwback here. Uh, you know, they could potentially run that reverse. And now Cam or uh, McCaffrey or somebody could be running a deep run over there. So it's good for him to chill and wait for that stuff to work itself out. Uh, but then, obviously, he's aware of it. He sees the motion go because the guys are right in front of him. Uh, so he's looking for it. And as that thing starts to break, he takes a great angle and, and uh, you know, is able to to get in there and make a play on it. Uh, so, you know, good job. Obviously, it's a, it's a pretty good pickup there. Uh, he's not going to be not like he's going to go make a tackle for a loss on that or anything, uh, but I uh, definitely like the way he got there and rallied to the ball on that uh, particular look there. All right, we're going to go later in the quarter. All right, towards the end of the half now. Up top. I just love how smooth his hips are. You know, when you're doing this uh, this press bail look, again, I, I wish they'd use their hands a little more. I wish they'd do a little bit more with it. Uh, you know, be a little bit more threatening up there. Uh, but I love how smooth his hips are. They can turn and run. Uh, and, and, and get some depth on that. Uh, definitely good look there. All right, he's got the athletic ability, uh, the hips that you're looking for in that position. Up top once again. All right, so again, very good hips. I like what I'm seeing. Now, this receiver does start to pull away. Like I said, you want to be about a half a step behind, and that's what he is initially. It was a look up top. He's right there, right where he wants to be. And that, that guy does start to kind of gain a little bit more than he wants on him, though. So, kind of make sure uh, we're cutting that down and uh, staying with that route. Skip a play here. 
Up top, once again. All right, so not a bad job here. All right, you know, he's he's pressed, he's, he's tied up. Uh, you know, once again, uh, just focus on the hips so you're not flying out, uh, you know, and allowing for that comeback to take place. Uh, but, you know, not, not too, too bad. Just want to see him see that break a little faster so he can be right there on that. Uh, you know, if the Panthers try to zip one of those in there, uh, you know, they could, they could definitely be in trouble in this situation. Up top once again. All right. Love the burst. Love the breaks. It's showing some great traits here. All right. Getting out there uh, and making that tackle in the flat. You know, focus right here. Boom. All right. Ball declares. He breaks on that thing hard. All right. That's a great job there. And, uh, you know, most importantly is, uh, you know, he gets on this tackle and he gets there before McCaffrey can get out of bounds. That keeps the clock running uh, and, uh, you know, forces them to, to kick this field goal with, uh, with some pressure on them. They do end up making the field goal. I mean, it's short of an extra point is nowadays, but, uh, uh, but still, you know, putting some pressure on that uh, and not allowing that rusher to, to get out of bounds. Uh, definitely. Uh, you know, definitely a, a big move there. Uh, good job on that play. Fast break, getting in there, keeping that ball inbounds and keeping that ball out of the end zone at the same time. We're going into the second half. Once again, the third quarter, he's going to be up top. He's always the right corner in this defense. All right, I love the patience, all right? I love how he's not flying over top of it. And here his eyes are much better. He's got really disciplined eyes. Look, now he's on top of it. Um, and, I, and you know, I've been saying before, we're in a step behind it. You know, if you can maintain this position, you're right, too, as long as you're not turned and, and facing the other direction. Uh, you know, it's really, it's more about the eye position than the body position. Uh, when you're running stride for stride, eating with somebody, you can't possibly be looking at their hips. Uh, so that's why I say, run a tick behind here that this uh, receiver never really even gets by him. So he's able to keep his eyes on his hips, just like he does at the line of scrimmage receiver, never even really gets by. And look, they're, they're basically breaking down together right there. I mean, that, that's, that, that's a really good job uh, on that play. All right, so here up top, he's got the slant. All right, so we'll take it back again. He's got inside leverage initially on this. He cuts a little bit to the outside, all right? Doesn't fully turn, doesn't really break on that. And again, let's be more physical, especially when this route comes back, all right? Really, the best way to play a slant is to flatten it out, all right? I like to say deliver them to the defensive line. Uh, be physical with it, flatten out that route. Once again, it's within this five-yard window. You can do that. You can use your hands. So as we see this, all right, the receiver is going to foot fire to the outside. Doesn't quite turn his hips, but now as he's coming back around, that's that spot where you really want to start to flatten it out, get your hands on it. Uh, they try a pick. He is a really good pick, but he does get kind of tripped up. Uh, so they're they're fortunate. Uh, that's not completed there uh, in a little they end up being a little bit of a tough spot, but they do survive it. All right, a little bit later in the quarter, once again up top. All right, good job staying on this crosser. This kind of gains a little bit more depth than you'd like. All right, it's tough because he's got to avoid his own player here. Who's running across. 
uh, with the action, with the motion by the receiver. All right, but he can stay tighter on that. That guy's going over top of him anyway. I just don't want to see him drift off of this too much and allow a bunch of space in there. All right, it's good that he stays with it, but when he starts to drift, uh, you know, that's where that's where he gets into a tough spot there. Okay, right there as he starts to drift. Look at all that room that guy has to cut that uh, to catch that ball. You're drifting off. Stay with it down here. Stay with it down there. So you're in position to make a play on the ball. Up top. All right, bails out. Once again, gets the comeback. Now, the linebacker's not getting enough depth. It should be getting some help underneath on this in cover three. Again, it's just the hit position makes it tough for him. That's the, that's the tough part of playing defense like this. Uh, you know, if you're not, if you're playing, trying to play a deep zone and you're not lining it up very deep, you know, you got to turn and run to get there. And that prevents you from being able to help out in underneath zones. Uh, but, you know, good job getting there. He's, you know, he's disciplined with the tackle. Then all of a sudden, you know, some weird thing happens. He gets pushed and lands on his butt out of bounds. Uh, so not really finishing it, but, you know, getting a good break and getting to where he needs to be. He just needs to finish that play now. All right, so obviously this doesn't go to his guy. Like the way he, uh, you know, comes in here, rallies to the tackle, uh, but don't like the tackle. All right, I have some differing views on tackles compared to what, what some people think, uh, but trust me, I'm right, you're wrong. Uh, look, you can't tackle by by just diving at things, especially when uh, when you miss. So. Here, look, he needs to keep his feet moving. Close that space. His feet stop. He reaches out. You're going to miss when you tackle like that. Run through him. Put your face on him, all right? Bring your chest. That's how you make tackles. You reach out like that, you don't make it. There's a great example, all right? Obviously, the guy's coming from behind, all right? But we see the linebacker coming in. All right, Bartavius Mango comes in here, and he makes a good tackle. Okay. We got the whiff, and then we got the guy that just runs through and puts his chest on him, right? Reaches a little bit on him, but you got to keep your feet moving. You got to run your feet through him. You know, when you reach out and you lunge, that is when you miss. We're going to go to late in the fourth quarter now. Now we're at the bottom, all right? It's the right corner. All right, so we'll take this back. So, yeah, I like the discipline on here. Okay, look, the, he's staying on his man. He needs to close down that space a little bit. But you, I mean, the safety is running past him, running to that out. Uh, you know, reading of the quarterback. You know, that's, that's good. That's what he needs to do. Uh, but Flowers' job is not to read the quarterback. His job is to stay with his man. So even as that, that goes past him, he's staying with his man. That's a good job. Once again, at the bottom here, good hips. Missing, reaching on tackles again. All right. That's not what we want to see. Reaching on these tackles, missing them. Bring his feet. Bring your hips to the party. That's how you make tackles. 
Always want to bring your hips to the party. All right, one last play we'll look at here. Bottom of the screen. All right, so this is a good job with the crosser. We saw the crosser a little bit earlier. We started to drift on it. It was a little bit deeper one, too. All right, and and he, he can't afford to drift on this one. If he drifts it at all, he's going to get smacked because they're trying to pick him on it. All right, but look, he stays tight with it. He stays right there with it, and he gets on it, and he makes the tackle. All right, very good job. All right, very good job. He's maintaining position. He's getting in there. You know, he's trying to get his hand in and make it play on the ball. All right, if he was a step closer, he probably could. But he's making the tackle on that. That's a very good job uh, in a clutch situation at the end of the game here to tackle him short of the first down. All right, good job. Again, I like that one more time. We're going to take a look at that tight film as he comes across. Bringing that hand, but also securing the tackle, making the tackle. That is a great job on that play. All right, once again, Coach Minnick at Coach Minnick on Twitter. You can follow me for more stuff like this, all my content from Cincy Jungle, Grueling Truth. I'm going to have a lot of great draft stuff coming up, uh, including uh, looking at every defensive back uh, being your source for defensive backs in this year's NFL draft. So look for that stuff coming up. You can follow me at Coach Minnick on Twitter and Instagram uh, for all of that information. Thank you for checking in. and. We back with more defensive breakdowns 